warrants are circulating. Okay. Um, when the meeting is called to order, are there any additions or changes to the agenda? Ooh. I would make a motion that we go into executive session per 1 VSA section 313A3 um, and invite a candidate for the DPW position to join us. Rick, is there a second? I'll second that. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, so we are out of executive session. We have nothing to report. We went into executive session on personnel uh, under 1 VSA 313A3 uh, relating to employment of a public <coughs> officer or employee. We interviewed a candidate for an open position in town. Um, and we have nothing to report. Um, now we are moving on to our public comment, and we have a couple of guests here. Um, is, is either of you here to make a public comment? Both of you are here to make a public comment. Okay, <laughs> Barbara, I saw your head first. I invite you to join us up here. Okay, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Okay, Barbara Butler, Assistant Town Clerk. So, um, Orca, it took a while for Orca to post their most recent, your most recent select board meetings. They didn't get posted till like the middle of last week. Oh, so, it was the middle of last week that I watched them both, which is what brings me here to stress the importance of please um, uh, adhering to the timeline of the production of the annual report and um, town meeting. What concerned me was, um, that you were you guys were looking at it and I, I heard the comment that uh, it doesn't go to the to the, the reprinter until whatever date. Hmm. The problem is that there's a huge amount of work that needs to be done on everything that's submitted for the town report before it goes to the printer. And even without what I'm getting ready to tell you, it's a huge amount of work. But what I need to tell you that I didn't think you'd need to know, but you do need to know, is that our graphic designer is getting married in January and leaving. Oh. And so it's a real tight deadline. And if she, and my real concern is that January 10th, so you're, you, the last day to approve the budget is January 9th. And I have every reason to believe you guys are on schedule with that. The very next day, January 10th, is the schedule for the treasurer to get all the financial documents to the graphic designer because she has only three days before her wedding to get everything set up and done. If, there, if you guys are not able to meet that deadline, we're simply gonna need to turn production of the annual report over to the select board and you'll need to find another graphic designer. The schedule is real tight, but that's the deadlines we wow. need to adhere Has to. Has she it. started working at all? On she, the things that I've given her, she she's completely done everything that I've sent so her. There are things that but are tight. the the financial pages are like 22 pages in the annual report, and it's all those graphs and charts and everything, and she has to format it to make it fit on those pages. Mm -hmm without things carrying, without a big long chart carrying over to the next page. It's a lot of work. So you said January 10th. 10th. If you look on your yeah, schedule, right January 10th, yeah. the day after you approve the budget is the day the treasurer is supposed to send all the financial documents to her. So I'm just here to plead <laughs> that you That's guys meet that deadline because if you don't, so meeting that deadline still works. Oh, it absolutely okay. works. That's okay. the agreement just, we okay. have. Okay. That's the All agreement right. we right. have. Okay. Okay. It's just I didn't want, I, I want you guys to respect the work yeah. that it takes to put all this together and the reason why we have a schedule of, of deadlines to meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank, yeah. thank you. That's Thanks. really, that's really Thanks. what I need that's to right. impress helpful. upon you. So, so when I say the treasurer, whoever, right of the maybe the four of you is acting in that function or if it's Wendy that you guys are coordinating with her mm -hmm. because she has other work commitments through yeah, memory so we, yeah, we and, she, and she's right. not just available right. at the drop of a hat right. and right. so you need to be coordinating directly with her so that she, on her schedule she knows that's a deadline she yeah, needs to meet. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right so we need we, to circle back with Wendy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, right. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's really, I just, and, and really truly <laughs> if 
you guys are not going to be able to meet, meet that deadline, it's, you're, you're, you're going to have to find somebody else to do the annual report. Well, okay, thank you, appreciate it. We actually had somebody here offer to help us, so I have not forgotten that comment. Uh, I won't say the name yeah. out loud, not sure. right now. Um, thank you, Barbara. Absolutely. You. And we yeah. Do, yeah, so today's the second, we're meeting next week, and we may end up having to just devote the rest of, you know, the book of, the book or I all of next have, week. I think we're going to have to do all of our January 9th meeting devoted to the town report. Probably, yeah. yeah. But that's okay. Yeah, we, we have that meeting on our books. Okay, okay. great. Right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Barbara, thank you for, I, I heard about all of your help during the emergency, so thank you for oh, what you did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Other, yeah. Other, well, there were other people helping. Well, I said, we're right here in this very room. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. a huge help in so many ways. Oh, yeah. okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys have had a chance to see the open position spreadsheet. And the posting that was on front porch forum today, but yeah, Barbara, Barbara did the bulk of the work, but she and I have been coordinating on that over the right. long Thank weekend. You. Thank you. It looks yeah, great. that was a huge amount of work, but I'm really proud of that spreadsheet. I hope you guys yeah. are happy with it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for keeping Bye. the spirit in the community there, Barbara. Thank you. Bye, Barbara. Hi, Rini. Hey, Hi. Rini. Hi. My name's Rini Degas. I'm representing the First Bond Association. We sent you an email about the things that we're asking you to do, I guess, at this meeting, <laughs> to... Not at this meeting. Okay. We, we said we weren't going to, we would do the permit stuff on the 9th, not this meeting. 9th. Okay, okay. So if we speak to you today, we give you time to warn it. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So that's one of the things, yes. You know what these three things are that I'm going to say, is that you agree to... Um, to give us the hundred thousand dollars from the ARPA money without having to put it on the warning, and that you do put the, on the warning the, the bond vote, so that that can go ahead at the right. town meeting day. Mm -hmm. And while I'm here, I might as well. I they said there were three things. The She's other one was the to put sign the um, permit application, which oh, oh, okay. right, which is the right. yeah. yeah. night you said when you oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And while I'm here, I might as well also put in a plug for the East Cal's Fire District to give us the $60,000 we ask for without having to put it on the ballot. Not as important as that. Without having to put it on the town meeting warning. The press is here. I want to make sure he gets a break. Okay, yeah. I understand what the heck we're talking about. <laughs> you know. okay. All right. That's Great. all. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. I'll stick around. Okay, because okay. I have two quick things. Uh, from public comment? No, there's nobody else here from the public, right? I'm asking, no, I was going to move on to the two. Two quick things that I have put on here. Those two, actually, I was going to ask if we can do them as a consent. Um, These, the, the two items that are yeah, action sure. items are. I didn't know if you wanted, I wanted to give you some background on the town hall fund. Um, we had budgeted last fiscal year 8000 for the town hall fund. Mm -hmm. um, there was 5000 in it. So Nemrick moved the 8000 into the fund. The invoice, as is on here, is $10,250. So we, are, we have enough money in the town hall fund to pay for this invoice, and the board has to vote to approve the use of the funds. Okay, so that's the second bullet. Yeah, is approving use of the reserve funds for the work that was done to shutters. On, on the shutters, which mm -hmm. are behind us, and then the other one uh, that we can do, I think, as just one motion is we discussed this last time, appointing Donna Fitch um, right. at a twenty dollar an hour rate, not to exceed fifteen feet, not to exceed fifteen hundred without coming back to us, and that is to organize. Um, yeah, <laughs> chase, chase down every grant we've got going and put it on one spreadsheet or several spreadsheets with a summary so that it's all in one place. Um, and, and she's she, offered to do that work for us. Right. So I would make a motion to approve those two items. I'll second. Is there any other question or discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. All right. Excellent. Budget. Budget. All right. I brought the spreadsheet. On my you have it electronically, did you? I did yeah. electronically so we can see on this side of the room. I have it on my confuser. 
Can you get into it, Rick? Nah, just a second. Let me see if I can. Um, and if you guys are pulling it, yeah, I found the town office budget request. Okay, good. So are we looking at the same one? Is it dated? I have a 9 22. This is what we have in the share drive. I mean, uh, the one in the share drive for the town meeting has a new tab, January 2nd, 2023. And you got to go to the drive. I am in the drive. Oh. Uh, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go up. There's a budget for 2022, so let's go. Is it under? It's I think it's under there. Might be. It's under 2023 town meeting. I think you got to do that. Yeah, I got to get out there. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's for 2023. Yeah. Sorry, got it. Okay. And is it is one you put in there today? I updated the one that's there, and I added a new tab. So we want the. I will, it's in Excel. It's in Excel and I- 24 SB budget tool draft. Yep. FY24 SB. So the one thing I will ask Rick, since you're opening the same one I'm already in. Mm -hmm. um, actually no, I opened it, I downloaded it so that I don't have to use Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. But I will take notes in it. So okay. but, I just want to be able I to see- I won't touch it, we'll take, do our okay. notes well, through you. We yeah, and then I'll just the save it back. a town meeting? Yes. Oh, right there. There it is. Okay, I didn't see it. And it says that I touched it today. And then if you scroll down, you should have, there you go, you got the new tab. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're all on the same page. Okay. I love when that happens. Okay. So we have, I think we should go, we should do, we should discuss salary items in executive session. We can report out what we're going to do, right. but I think we, we deserve, we deserve and people deserve for us to be discussing details in, in Well, it is personnel related. It's personnel and it can be sensitive and whatever. Um, so let's not talk about salary. yep. salaries, um, which brings us down to, I think we've pretty much We've been through and we have numbers in everything yeah. except do we have the copier maintenance agreement we said we were gonna move down to the town right that's office. up under, that's up under select board, right? Right, but we're moving it is the note. We're gonna remove it from select board and move it to town office. Line seventeen, you mean copier maintenance agreement. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Can we remove this? Well she's gonna do it. I'm we're not I'm, Well, I'm just I'm leaving it there for now until we Yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. And then Do you we want had to highlight this stuff so we know it, you, so you don't miss it later on. Um, I've got a note there, okay. For sure. Okay. I, but I'm going to do it. But I, I, as I said, I downloaded it, so I'm not working on. I don't have to work uh, on Wi-Fi. You want me to highlight the I am in the drive? If you want me to highlight that yellow, if you highlighted it yellow, all the if things that we might be relocating, yeah. change the font color or something. Um, yeah, I'll just do a hundred. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So then. Mileage reimbursement. Why is that one blank? Um, we use it. There's an actual. Well, I guess I want to look and see if there's. Um, is there mileage reimbursement under town clerk or town office at all? I can't look right now until Rick's done. Give me a second. I'm just gonna. There you go. That That's all. good. Is it? Can you scroll down a little bit? Right? Yeah. Is there mileage under town? None of us put mileage in, and it's under the select board section. Should be, we, we want the road crew to do mileage. Well, well they, they don't have hardly any miles. That would fall under the road road section, anyways. It okay. seems like the road the mileage piece should go under. I um, made a note in my version that we're going to move this to town office. I mean, it doesn't really matter. matter. It's not that big of a deal. But if we're moving one thing, we might as well move it. Right. We don't, ever, we don't ever bill for mileage. Okay. No. 
And then we have, okay, go back up to the select board budget. Yeah. One thing, you guys, that will, are you seeing, when you scroll down, did it hold? Right. Do I need it? Yeah, we yeah. and put a note. Can we move this to? I locked the counters so you can scroll in. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. I, I used to know how to do that. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Um, okay, so I'm on line 20. Yeah, wait a minute. Working on Rick um, mileage, yeah, yeah. So, okay, okay. and okay, so, then so on, under CLG fundraising, we had a question about asking Wendy whether we should have numbers in there. Do, do we, yeah, I, she's been out of reach for like the last since the middle of last week. Okay, I'm so my goal is I'm well. going to call her tomorrow because I got a couple of questions, other questions to ask her. Okay. How do you highlight? I mean, Rick and I know how to do font change. How do you highlight like you do there? I was looking through the film. Uh, I'm, I'm looking through the film. No, there's the the oh, that's the fill that's color good. one. Yeah. I got it. It's different yeah. than yeah. 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 Okay, okay, so Denise will check with Wendy. Talk to Wendy. I'm making that note. Okay. And now. Um, we got some proposal on wages, land, land records. Did I've got Jeremy's document here? He did not. He didn't give us on land records. He said five hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Where did that? I didn't see that. Where did that arrive? That was attached with his twelve ten email. Oh, it was where another he gave us it, Where he gave us his other proposal. Okay, but that was the only one. So now Digi I think digitizing land records. Okay, so land records are the one put in five eighty. Right here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Enter. I'm just um, gonna I'm gonna highlight that yellow. Okay. Yeah. So that we know we changed it. Yeah. Good. Um, I mean, he's really gonna need to. Hey Rick, actually, can can you not highlight things you changed? Only let's highlight. Please, let's only highlight things that are still questions. Because the okay. fact that you put a number in there okay, is, okay. is a change. No, that's fine. Uh, no fill. Where's no fill here? Just hit. Go back. Okay, well, back. He yeah. needs to give us figures for um, <clears throat> land record. Okay, that way he needs to give us figures for land digitizing. Survey maps and vault shelving. He needs to give us some numbers for those. Mm -hmm. I'm going to highlight those yellow, okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I, are I, you going to talk to him about that? Yeah. Um, because I'm probably going to have to go into the office to meet with Wendy. Okay, so just put my initials by there DW, check with Jeremy. Okay, listers. Now they listers gave us a budget. Um, they asked for a capital budget. Okay, listers suggested. Okay, so or wait, now that was planning commission. So lister wages, mm -hmm. they put in um, twelve thousand. And again, Denise, where did this arrive? This is an email that they sent to us. To all of us. I thought so. Do you have the email right there with yeah, you? Yeah, I don't see everybody's name on it, but I thought so. I, I looked it. today and I couldn't find one. What's it called? Um, Lister FY24 budget. And it came from Jan? Yeah. I don't think we got that because I searched oh, Lister. Weird. We, I searched Lister, I looked at emails from Jan. And I think she came, didn't she come and talk with us about the Lister budget? Do you have a date Saturday? on that email? December 9th. Okay, so she wanted twelve. They, they, not just Jan. Right. Twelve thousand. <coughs> map resistance thirty-five hundred. Education and training zero. 
Hold on, let me catch up. Tax, oh, tax map provisions, what? 3500 Okay, what's the next? At List the zero. of education, zero. Do you want me to do that, Rick? I'm doing I'm, it right I'm, now, I'm in there. I'm it's typing fine. away in line here. Software licenses? Go ahead. Well, I have to do it. John's got it up in the, here, yeah, let's just swap. Software licenses? Um, software licenses, she has 1500 Okay. Okay. Lister expenses, okay. thousand. Okay. Yeah, she said I'll be at the meeting on Saturday the tenth to answer any questions. Should be. You want me to put that note in? No, there? no. Okay. I mean, and as we're putting these figures in, just so we're all on the same page, this is everybody's mm -hmm. dream wish list. Right. And then when then when we see the bottom line and mm -hmm. and. Have a heart attack, then we go back. Which, yeah, we're gonna have to talk at the end about when we when we do that. Mm -hmm. um, we may we may need a. I'm gonna put this out so you can meditate on it while we finish. Uh, we may need a mid midweek meeting. Okay. I'm thinking maybe could we meet on Friday? I don't want to meet on Friday. Well, it's a good I thing I canceled plans. my colonoscopy for this Friday. I did not. I made plans for the weekend. While my daughter is home, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to meet on Friday. Me. You did? Okay. I would. I, well, we can talk later about when. Yeah. I'm um, thinking we may have to. Just let me know. I'm, I, no, I cannot meet on Friday. Tomorrow night, I'm, I've got another meeting for emergency management. Denise and I. But, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. We could continue this meeting. Right. That's yeah. a good point. That's an option. But can um, we move on? Yep. So the next town treasurer section is a wages section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We audit. Have... And we have numbers in audit already. Are those good numbers? As far as I know, they are. Okay. To link to That's this. audit. Mm -hmm. That's line 49, 50, yeah. 51. Yeah. Okay. What do we want? No, wait a minute. Yeah. Tell them. Are these good, the numbers in there? Yeah. 4,000 and 3,000 for the town report and town audit? The fact, those are not dummy numbers. We put them in. Anything that's in budget FY24 are numbers we put in there. Yeah. At another meeting. Do we have anything for the treasurer wages? No, not right now. We're not doing okay. that now. Okay, tax collector, England income tax collector, that's, that's set. Baked. That's all set. Elections. Elections. Um, that's another one to put when I go to the town office to meet with Wendy, I can ask. Well, it says ask Jeremy for numbers. So can you put that in? DW. put that in yellow? I get, I will. Do you get, get numbers from Jeremy? Yeah. Now see here, general office is where I think the copier maintenance thing and mileage should go. We did add copying somewhere. Yeah, it's down below. It's line 75. Can you scroll down? Mm -hmm. And 76, copier and copier maintenance. Oh, do um, Yeah, copier maintenance agreement. You have the numbers in there. Okay, so we've got questions to ask Jeremy. Okay, so Wait, hang on. Oh, sorry, there's the same numbers above. 1100, 450, and 645. Those are no, there's no numbers under copy or maintenance. Or opposite, yeah. There's a whole list that I'm seeing that you ask Jeremy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is Jeremy aware that we're in YouTube? Do you want to use my again? No, he will be tomorrow. I'm just going to, Denise, I'm going to highlight the general office, the whole chunk of it. Yeah, good. That's perfect. I got it. I got it. I got the whole thing. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So I just highlighted the whole section. Okay. Not the whole section, the line at the, the top. header. Right. The header. Okay. Yeah. Was that, is that enough? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, that's a whole bunch of ask, Jeremy. Fund appropriations, that's a big blank. I don't know what that is. I think we've said that before. We don't need to. I can't see. Line eighty-three. Oh, is that so for the conservation fund? No, conservation no. fund is under conservation. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can you? Can somebody highlight it and put a ask Wendy? Building yeah. maintenance yeah. funds yeah. or sinking funds? I don't know what that is. 
What is this ask going to be? Okay, great. Technology. Um, I think we want to put something in, because we're going to use, um, oh, a wrong fund, never mind. I was thinking account office reserve. We said, this is when we said find out how much is in the reserve fund now and what does it cover. Yeah. So that's technology a, reserve. That's an ask Wendy. How much is in there? Which one? The technology reserve? Yeah, 84. Well, I need 84. Yeah, I'm good. I, just, yeah. I got it, Rick. Okay, you did. And then town office reserve. <coughs> um, and we're going to be using some of what's in the town office reserve. And I think the amount is, oh no, maybe it's under um, computer. This one we, we said somebody, we were going to use some of the money from, from one of those things to help pay for, we're going to use some from ARPA and some from, for the cut contract. Do you remember that? Um, yes, but that's irrelevant as to budgeting because what we said we already put a number in there we put in 4500 yeah and we made the comment to remind ourselves this is based on the budget principle of allocating one percent of the building's value each year to the town office reserve fund okay so that's for the office itself right town office reserve fund right so that's done but the digitizing, the COT stuff you were just talking about goes back up to that earlier section, digitizing right, records. Yeah, right. uh, to be clear, the, the town office reserve fund, the 1% has to do with the town office building, right, right. not reserve for IT or anything. Right, like it like. should be building. It, it's town office building. building. Major capital, that, basically, is what it yes. should be. Yeah. Yeah. Major capital. It's not, yeah, and I don't know if... It's not a slush Yeah, right. 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 No. no, it's for maintenance. Right. So, so I just that, added... Actually, I just added the word bill. Okay, so under payroll taxes benefits, can one of you guys highlight that? I want Wendy to fill in those numbers. Yeah, get these numbers from Wendy, perfect. Okay. Um, DLCT dues. Now, where did I? I think we all got something from. I have the we have note 3300 based on Rick's calculations. 3300 for PLCT dues. Yeah, based on their letter that day. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that, was based that, on that was the one we got. You yeah, you had, those were the numbers we. Right. I mean, they gave us, the, they told us how it. They usually do tell us so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zoning administrator, assistant zoning. Um, Constable, are we leaving? So we did constable, health officer, sheriff. Sheriff sent us a, you know, an email, that document they sent us. What, what did Tammy Len Leno suggest? This is constable stipend and next to the... Tammy came here and made an impassioned suggestion. This is weeks ago that we yeah. need to pay yeah. our constable more. Okay. Yep. And the actual <coughs> FY23 was three. Well, that was because. That was because. Right, but. Normally it's a thousand. Oh, so. oh okay, okay. So yeah, yeah, I see now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hang on. So the, no, the budget, no, we budgeted in 23, 2000. Right, right, right. But it's. So we only bumped it 400 bucks. We bumped it 20%. Right. <laughs> 400 bucks. Mm hmm. 20%. You got it. Um, <laughs> animal control. Now, we have an animal control officer stipend in there for $4,000. That's. We must have been. We must have been hallucinating. Yeah, why? Well, I would say we put in 1000 It says 4000 I know, that's what I said. Why does it say that? I think it needs to change to a thousand. It must have been getting tired. Yeah. Probably. And then animal control expenses. That was based on our recent. Wasn't it a thousand dollars a quarter? That's what we were thinking. That's a well, that's a lot, and it's a and lot. It must have been a different day than we did constable because those two don't square. Animal oh, control okay. expenses. I think we put in. 
hopefully we're not going to have another year like we just had. Well, well, just to be clear, um, the court, if you folks have read the decision mm -hmm. with regard to the horse confiscation, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the court has said we are entitled to reimbursement of the state line fees and costs and veterinarian costs mm -hmm. that were necessary to you know, provide the horses good care. So, so John, do you think a thousand for animal control expenses? expenses? Going you know, I, I, I'm wondering if we should have maybe a little bit of a, like we do with the conservation, have a little bit of a sinking fund. And when it gets up to some number, maybe a thousand this year, but Right. Right. build and then to a maximum of five and just let it sit. Okay, but then you we know, have to we don't know. Have a little latitude if we get into legalities. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. have to put something on the warning to create the fund. Ah. Right. So, oh, I did not know that. so we did make a note that this this mm. current Good expenses license. are based on horse stabling fees. Twenty thousand is prorated on the assumption the expenses continued, but we didn't put in twenty thousand. No, that's why I'm suggesting, you know, what do we want to put in there, even though we're going to probably get a lot of those expenses back, hopefully. I think you're right, Denise. Let's, we had bud, we budgeted this year for the first time ever, so, and we're going to be so, this is going to be such a big increase in budget. Let's, we put an animal officer control stipend in, mm -hmm. animal, yeah, and then I just work. took that animal control expenses down mm -hmm. to a thousand. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna just put a line through that comment. Okay. Only to add. I'll unline this piece. I'm making the comment that court decision allows us to collect reimbursement for our expenses. So you're changing that control animal control expenses wording. I did change. It. I changed the number. All right, I see that. And now I'm just, I'm just, I'm correcting the comment. It's like, it's like we had a different number before we had right. news. Right, but I don't see your comment. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's on line G. Okay. Oh, it's just to be clear, not to beat this one to death, but um, so everyone on the board understands, and folks listening understand that the court didn't create the pressing through whole cloth in terms of yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't say what? the court, the superior court, yeah. Judge, Judge Metal did not create a new precedent out of whole cloth. He simply read our established animal control ordinance. Yeah. Um, and said that the ordinance that was legally arrived at um, and is proper under the statute provides for our reimbursement of these types of expenses. Right. And that was clear in the ordinance. So he was just reiterating the authority we already had vested in the ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So the bottom line total didn't change. Yeah, the bottom line total didn't change. Yeah, the Animal control. Huh. It's not a. It's not something. It's doing something different. Can I just click in once and see what the? No, it's just entered. That number I can see is it was an entered number, and I don't know why it's not doing what, math. What, can I just try something in there? Let's see if you let me. It will. Rick, are you able to enter the formula? I'm working on it. Okay. There it is. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. PC. Uh, so this one, Planning Commission asked, they did ask <coughs> for a reserve type thing. Do you have that email printed, Denise? Yeah, they want to have a reserve fund created, which is a, needs to be warned. Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of the fund is for such things as hiring a consultant to help with process, public forums, gather information, renewal update to the town plan, and they're asking for 5000 for that reserve fund. Um, what's a, 
what is the sequencing of if we warn a reserve fund and it's approved this year, then can the budget that's approved include the first deposit to the reserve fund or does I it have so. to wait? It doesn't have to wait a year? No, it be? should because they're coincident, right? Well, well, we would be putting on a warrant item asking for the creation of a reserve fund starting with the five thousand dollars or twenty five hundred or whatever we put in. This this could be so if it yeah. and if it got voted down then the number just would not go into the budget. Right. right. And that's essential as I think. So does that does the amount get does the amount <laughs> of the reserve fund get warned as part of the overall budget or I would say yes and then the separate question is whether to establish the, the reserve, reserve fund. Right. Um, yeah, we didn't have any creation of a reserve fund recently. Well, I made a note, and they're asking just for 5000 which overall is a reduction, so that's nice. Well, a reduction from what? I don't see that. 6200 Planning Commission, we budgeted 6,200 last year. Well, we had budget, we had budgeted assistant PC assistant wages at 5,000, right? Right. And education training 200, expenses 1,000. So now they're not asking for an assistant; they're asking for the reserve fund. So it comes out the same. Right? Aren't they asking for 5,000 overall? They're asking for 5700 because they want education and training 200 and PC expenses at 500 Oh, they still want those things. So they don't want the assistant? I don't understand. No. They're saying they don't need it. Really? Well, and I guess, you know, I don't, I've never seen them advertise for it, but it doesn't mean they didn't. So they want the 200 and I'll just put the 5000 up there. Well, we want to change that to, uh, to reserve fund. I made a note because we still have to decide whether we're going to warn that. Right. Can you highlight that PC assistant one? Thank you. Okay, now Conservation Commission, yeah, we did put in the eight. I don't have any. Um, <coughs> For the fund? Yeah. I think we said eight. And then they wanted us to add, okay, so we put in two for invasive. That was just kind of our guess. Mm -hmm. um, and I happened to be talking to Stephanie the other day. Julie Hand is checking with some company in Barrie that is the brother of Kerry Bradley. Kerry Bradley? Marcus at Red Start. Yep. To see wow. how much they might charge us for an invasive species study. Right. Inventory. I guess you want to call it an inventory, right? You know, on this, on this, should we. And I'm quite have grant money for that. I yeah. have a question for you on this, and this is Marcus, on the invasive you know. species yes. side with Emerald Ash Board. And we are allocating money. You know, for mitigation on these things, we this is something. Yeah, it's something that's something you wanted to do, right? Right. I just don't know. Well, I need some feelers so It's very expensive to go in and remove oh. these trees in the road. Yeah. I mean, we've got this is what our DPW. We want to be working on this, but we are on a bit of a time clock. You have about six years from the time they confess the tree to the time it becomes. Um. Anyway, sorry. Just a. I don't know. Well, Rick, I mean, what are you proposing specifically? Would that go under highway or would that go under conservation? I don't know. We want to be, and uh, I think probably conservation, I would think, don't you? I would too. And then that's uh, the question is. So is that really just bumping that invasive species up more? But, but would, the emerald, yeah, I guess the emerald ash borer is an invasive species that's going to require 
I think you said sometime they might have to hire somebody to cut down. Well, that's where East right? Montpelier has actually been methodically going through kind of road by road and within the right of way taking out the ash. And then they're preserving like three. And aren't they inoculating some? There are a handful, two or three. Two or three. Yeah, Paul Cade's been. How do they decide which ones to inoculate? It's just. They picked like me and Paul did. It. Are they already impacted? That's why they're cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's we've got players impacted. Yeah, we've got. I'm sure we've got them here. We've got it. Paul's got it on his land, which is right next to cows. I mean, it's right on the county road. So, so, so do we want to take? It used to be 500 a shot. I remember that number from the training that we all did. So instead of 2,000, do we want to say? Well, and also there's the cutting. Do we want to even say 10,000? Do you have a number of basis? Yeah, <clears throat> even whatever we can put. I mean, it's expensive to have done. You usually do a road at a time. That's logistically. We that's, just need a number, though, Rick. That's okay, what we're going to do. We don't have time to do the analysis of what it. Well, what so I we, would say put in ten or fifteen thousand to start with. Really? That's, oh. that's not cheap. I mean, yeah, these are not. free cutting. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, maybe this is a zany thing, but um, five years ago. Mm -hmm. There were a number of softwood trees that were hurting or dead, oh. and they were leaning over the wooded section between my property and the Graham farm. And I got so sick every day, I'd come down, there'd be another hunk of tree, and I'd have to stop and go back at a chainsaw or wouldn't go around another way. So I went with my tractor bucket, and I just pushed the trees, I just to and fro, pushed the trees, leaned them into the woods so that when they did fall apart, they fell that way, and I mean, short of cutting every single tree down, which is a lot of work and bucking them up, um, if the trees are dead, I mean, we have we have bucket load. You just push them. Well, the problem is lean with, them. with the emerald ash, in particular to this. Yeah. About two thirds of the way up the tree, you get a weak spot, and they snap there, and this is common among all these infestations, oh, so it makes it very, very dangerous. Well, so the so the same with like, out these trees. Same with the spruce budworm, same yeah. identical thing. Yeah. Okay, so guys, anyway, so this can... is really fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and we haven't panicked. But, no, I get it. you know what I mean? Wanna, well, we spruce budworm's been here for so, so 60 I put in, years. So I put in 15,000. Okay. And we have 8,000 for the fund. And, and I made a note that, we, that it's 13,000 with the idea that we might um, we're cutting some ash yeah. trees and inoculating some. Okay, so can we I made a note to, do we want to just put something in there for recording, just put the same amount in for recording minutes, education and training, and um, green up? Okay. And then expenses? Um, we budget, they don't seem to use it. I think we just put it zero. Yeah, okay. All right, so then swim fund. I think we said we were just going to put in fifteen hundred because we don't know what's going on over there. Right. Um, Which is what we budgeted last time. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So we budgeted for several years. And I don't. Now. Yeah. And I don't think we generally go over. I don't remember this year. Right. Um, and then we have a bunch of town hall numbers that it looks like we already talked about because some of them are different than the year before. Uh, we didn't make any notes, so that suggests to me that we just were. Agreement. Well, that we were making guesses that they didn't come from. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, right, right. I don't think we can see, but I don't think it's going to cost us twenty four hundred for janitorial. Donna's been doing it. She gets two hundred dollars a month. A month times twelve. Twenty four hundred. So oh my God, so that's right. Now. It cost us twenty four hundred. Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's the number. There's the number. <laughs> um. Okay. That was good. Um, and then phone and internet. We had a question. Yep. That we think we only get one bill, but we can't tell. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we. Can you highlight that? Yeah. And do you want to ask Wendy? What did David Healy say? There was an estimate that was sent around on what the fiber optic is going to cost us. Yeah. Month. We may want to work more as much toward that as the phone bill because we. It may says do. monthly subscriptions start at seventy nine dollars a month for a hundred, over a hundred megabytes, 
up to 2,000, 200, 2,000, 2,000, whatever that means for 199 a month. I think the town office is the only location that could benefit from the higher speed subscription. So I don't know how we want to budget for this. What is that? I think he said that they're that's anticipating his, that's his email. connection body in the first quarter. Yes. So if we figure three quarters of the year at that rate, what's the differential between that and um, what we're paying? So because we could do voice over internet protocol. Yeah, that's what he's got on there. So yeah. what he's yeah, so he's saying so the t the two numbers Denise means upload, download, hundred, hundred, upload. And then the other one is two thousand, two thousand, that seems like that's really fast. Right. Well, but a hundred upload and a hundred download, none of us even know what that's like. Why do we need any more than that even at the town office? Big map files and stuff. But is it that much more it's doubling or more than doubling? It's more than double. It's two hundred dollars yeah. a month. Can we kind of come up with an in in between? I don't know. Figure? What, I don't know what they do. They back up the servers every night. Oh, they it's, do. It is. Harvey Tech does. Yeah, and there's a lot of. But it's up. They might back up only the differential though. They're not necessarily because what changes uh, in the town offices every day has got to uh, be oh, okay. Okay. minuscule. Uh, but fair point. It says up to, so there must be some middle range. Uh -huh. So what if we budget a hundred dollars a month? So that's twelve hundred. <coughs> what do we have now? We already we have, have fifteen hundred. I think we'll just leave that yeah, fifteen hundred. Okay, leave it the same. Okay. Just leave that fifteen. And again, as we've always been informed, budgets are best guess projections. It is. I mean, and we, we have no come idea. Shy what's if we go over. That's well, just, well that's sometimes we just have no idea. Hang on, gang, and gang, we have the CVF broadband extension in line one fifty one, which that was. Money that I don't think I ever got spent, John. <coughs> Remember we budgeted for that? <laughs> they kept saying you they better were, get your invoice in. You better well, get and because this was for the project that was up here, and we. Remember, you suggested they never got it done. Money, they never got it done. I think David <laughs> told us that they just ate that on the yeah, they did. Okay, so that's something different. Um, so I'm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hang on. I'm going to refine our notes. Ask Wendy about combining with another line. Right, town hall, town hall, but, town office. But um, leave at 1500 because we discuss um, based on David H. email about the fiber costs. Yes. So in other words, I'm trying to make a note that we already we made a decision about this number. We're not asking Wendy about the number. We're asking Wendy about just combining it. Right. Okay. Town Hall Reserve Fund. If we can, I think we should leave it at 10. Okay. That yeah. again yeah. is based on the one. One percent. Yeah, one percent. The value of the building. Right. The building's at, valued at a million. One percent. Okay. I think it's actually but I think it's valued at more than a million, but I think we kind of went with a million okay. to come up with that figure. Okay. Um, insurance, we don't have much say over that. Hang on, I'm going to town hall building reserve fund. Yep. And is that, that one doing the math? Yes, it is. Insurance. Uh, I will highlight these. Ask Wendy's for you, Denise. Yes, please. Um, how do we do this? So the Curtis Pond Dam bond gets passed, and everything goes according to the their best, you know, their hope, the plan, I should say, to commence construction upon approval of the bond. This construction, upcoming construction season. Um, once that is completed, then we're going to need to add that to our once list of insured properties. Once it's completed and then the town takes ownership. That's correct. But won't that be in the next fiscal year? Not if they're not if they stay on That's what I'm saying. Right. It's gonna be in this upcoming No, year. I mean the following. No, no, so okay, like they're gonna we'll finish by right. fall. Right. Are you looking at finishing in the yeah, so, yeah, the guy, the guy who was what was his name, Three Tucker, months. Mr. Tucker, Jeff Tucker. Jeff Tucker, Jeff Tucker. is going to be done by fall, and then there's going to be the mm -hmm. we take I have ownership. No idea how much that might cost? Well, you know, it's 
We're going to start on replacement you know value. It's, it's three quarters of a million dollars to replace it, so it's probably similar to what we're paying on this. Yeah, and it's one percent of. But there's li greater liability. They're going to have to come up with a number for us. Okay, so CPA needs to. Where's my thing? Where I'm, I'm going to ask. LCT needs to give us a number. So I'm going to ask Mark. Projected insurance cost to town, right? Yeah. And it needs to cover both liability mm -hmm. and maintenance or whatever, damage, whatever you call it. I'm making, I'm adding a line, Curtis Von Dam is heard, on the assumption the town takes ownership. Mm -hmm. yeah, on the vote, on the vote, right? No, not after a vote, after, after the work is done. Construction is completed. Oh, I right, see. yeah. <clears throat> so where did you? I put it under oh, under insurance. building and liability. Okay, perfect. And this is a VLCT. Mm -hmm. You probably want to take that. Would you put it in friends and just put it in the comments? Pass it. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, this, none of this is going, this is not what's going in there. Um, okay, town office bond. That is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, those things, we don't really have a lot to say so. Mm -hmm. And the loan that we took off to pay off the debt, even <coughs> if it's paid off, you have to leave three fiscal years in your budget. Even though it shows zero, you have to leave it three fiscal years. Where are you? Aren't we down? On, aren't we under long-term debt? Yeah, but I don't see any zeros. Well, it's yeah. If you look under <laughs> reduce FY fifteen sixteen deficit, oh, it shows yeah. zero okay. to FY twenty four. And all the other numbers were. That's it's, it's, they are. They there. are. Okay. Wait. So why do we leave the amount in there, Denise? Well, you have to you, you have to leave those that line item in for three years after it's paid for. So huh. you have the comparables for a nice long tail. Oh, I see. I see. So, so I we see. have to leave okay, it in there. Okay, we're not budgeting. We're just leaving. Right. You just have to the leave information. It. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the server loan should get started, and eventually that should get wrapped into tech, which we have capital fund for now. Right. Tax abatement, we put a little bit in, and that brings us up to. Okay, so just for fun, without even having a lot of a lot with a lot of numbers still missing, or way high, yeah. we're super high. Double. Um, we are probably ten percent without. Ten percent, yeah. Um, doing the math here, and that's with numbers still outstanding. Mm -hmm. Not quite ten percent, but it's high. Something. Hang on, let me get a, a real number. It would be fifty-five thousand eight hundred ish, you know. With and so if it was ten. If it was ten, so it yeah. I mean, it's six percent over. Mm -hmm. So we're six percent over. Um, but that's the the well. Let's which is not which is. Which is that doesn't include salaries, which doesn't include a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. There's still a bunch of stuff not right there. So I think we just leave it like that. Yeah, now can, can you put in there right now that it's the current figure is six percent? I'm going to be able to get this document home, right? Yeah, this yeah is it's literally in the folder. You can look it This is the shared document. So, so everybody just, I know everyone knows how to do this, but I always have to figure it out again over and over every single time. So how you do the percentages, how I do it, is I divide the larger number by the smaller number. So I'm taking that 593-405 and I'm dividing 558-107 into it and that tells me 1.06. So that's 6% over. So yeah. it, so Denise says, we, so everybody knows we're all doing the math the same way yeah. and we can all do it just 
because that 6% is no good as soon as we add more numbers. Right. Right. Um, well, actually, hang on. Um, well, what I will do when I get home, when I can... Oh, you just put a formula in if you I'm going to put a formula in the box yeah. below, yeah. and so it'll change as the numbers yeah. change. So we, have we heard anything on our health care plan in terms of, is that going to stay steady? Or I think... Something? I saw something that Wendy's. I can't see that staying flat or relatively flat given no, all she, I don't, I craziness mean, of the last. Maybe I didn't bring years. it, but she can. Well, that's why I want her to look at this and fill in the, the figures. Yeah. I do think I raised this question last time, and we haven't said it. Had haven't said, but we should be thinking about what we feel like we can tolerate. Because we're going to have to, right. we're going to have to come up with what we can t tolerate, and then we're, we're going well, to have to move down to it. Well, I think it's more what the taxpayers can tolerate. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's we have to decide what we are willing to defend and present to the taxpayers. Right. I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen. I just heard this house needs to be sold for seven hundred five thousand. We heard that the house across the road from these cattle kind of stores sold for, from Jeremy sold for five hundred, right on Route fourteen. I'm wondering, so when the state we education could. formula starts getting applied, are they going to like yeah, have our, a windfall into the state fund? Are we going to see that come back? Are we going to just get our common, our common level, we're not at parity. We're at 79%. We yeah. Got yeah. Yes, we, it's going to, our tax base, well, that's why, part of the re, that's why you do the reappraisal. To, oh, I know, I know. To put everything back if together. we had done a reappraisal last year, it would already be out of date. Right, right. It's so crazy right now. Yeah. Well, and this thing that we got, or something Jan said, it was 79.99. They listers were hoping for 80. We barely made so it. So we just we barely well we barely dropped. Yeah. But um, <coughs> well. And it's a statewide phenomenon. I think the legislature's going to have to look at this. People are being hammered. Well, and that's why everybody. That's why there's not enough appraisers. To do all these reappraisals, right, right. Yeah. it's. I mean, ultimately, ultimately, the point of the education fund is so that we're all sharing equitably right. in the cost yeah. of education. But right. what's really going to drive it is that everything. Well, it's two things, right? We've been below, but not so far below that we had to adjust. So at, when we when we get caught up, if you will, then we're going to see a bump as we start picking up our fair share. Right. But then the fair share of what of enormous expenses because everything is going up so much. Well, and but I was, the, I was, the value of the the real estate has gone up faster than expenses. Uh, as as great as rates should drop ten or eleven percent. The rates will drop, but they, they still have to, to raise. They still have to raise the money. They still have to raise the money. That's right. just the right. relativity. Right. Well, I asked. I did ask Jan. I was talking to Jan, and I asked her. I said, "So what do we do right now?" And she said, "There's really nothing we can do until we need reappraisal." Mm -hmm. I mean, where we where we would really have to worry is if Callus was 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 growing at a pace enormously different than other towns, but we're not. No. Everybody's you know, the legislature just for now during this period of disruption, they should just apply a number across all you know, percentage to every town so we're not spending all this time and effort on reappraisal. This is nuts. Mm -hmm. right. just it just makes no us, sense. Just give us all a factor. Just give us all a factor and done. And then yep. I mean think of all the money being spent on this. Yep. Think of all the money spending on that spent coming up with that number. <laughs> yeah, it's it's still smoking here. It's anyway, like this is the very, yeah, very fascinating. Appraisals are, fascinating are based on our retrospective. Yeah. They're okay. not prospective and they're wrong That's as soon as they do. So we know the guy we know the guy to talk to. Right. Can we do highway? Yeah, let's do highway. You got some numbers? I do not, really. Okay. How are we gonna get numbers so that we can finalize and bless a budget in one week? Well, I'm going to meet with Wendy to do all the other stuff. Rick, can you come up with numbers? I don't know how we could get. I don't know what we found on our grant side. And, uh, well, uh, well, wages, that's different. Yeah. But it's, if we're looking at this stuff, mm -hmm. this stuff here, Wendy can fill in. And what I'm right. pointing to is the insurance and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but education and training, so far this fiscal year, we haven't spent anything. Hang on, let me break this down. I'm going to highlight FICA, Veemers, 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 insurance. insurance. Oh. 
I'm going to yellow. play all that as yellow for Wendy and Denise. Right. And then we're going to talk about wages later. Mm -hmm. um, I think we do do an education and training because we've got some things that we'll want to be doing. This okay, year. so let's put in, let's just put in 500. Right, that's where we're going. Okay, we'll uniforms. We're in FY22, our actual was 55. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just put in 5,500? Or, or 56. I would do that. Let's do 56. Okay, equipment hired. Um, Actual that we've spent so far this year is what's MRGP fees? Oh, Municipal Roads permit. General Permit. That's yeah. going to stay the same, fifteen hundred. Yeah. You got that right. Mm -hmm. It says fifteen ninety. That's what That's it was. Which one it is, right? Oh, okay. Um, equipment hired. Yeah, and that's we put that. This was to cover any. Uh, everything like hammer drills and things like that, when we, or if we have to hire a special so so we just so talked about like cement mixer you hired the other day. Yeah, when they rented the bridge. We had to do that, yeah, for the bridge, yeah. So, so we budgeted in FY22 20000 yeah, we, we spent two hundred and seventy. Mm -hmm. FY23 we budgeted ten, and so far we've only spent under a thousand. Right, twenty five hundred. We put. I it think twenty five hundred is good. That, that's Roadside mowing. I don't even know why we have a figure there because we do it all now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can that just be zero? Well, we we thought about having a person, a summer help person, hired. That's what that went to the pay up. That was the, because that was the because income. right, but it was based on a representation by our then group commissioner saying that they didn't have his, time. his folks are straight out doing other projects and it would impact well, that. So we didn't want to see that. So the idea was to have that money available to hire That's right. someone. Well, we can keep that. I mean, right now we've got Ogden who does not have a CDL, right? So right. We, the only, he can run the tractor at right. most. So, yeah, we that's okay. so we don't need to budget that. So we don't need to budget can, that. Just yeah. put in zero. Okay. Okay. Because he'll just get paid. Um, let's see which one. Um, right here. Right here. It's this one. Right. Five. Yeah, so put in zero. Oh, you're doing that. Um, okay. It didn't show up. It is. It's black. It's a oh wait, no. It says equipment. It might be maintenance. Line two hundred two. And by the way, no, we're on two hundred three. Oh, two hundred three. What? That's miscellaneous. No. no this is roadside mowing equipment. Equipment. We got to. Uh, we do we have to do work on that tractor. We do have to do work on that. So probably five grand worth of work. Because we're going to get all the bushings changed and hoses mm -hmm. oh, that haven't been changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, miscellaneous. I I call it. What is miscellaneous? Do we know? Miscellaneous is miscellaneous. But we always seem to spend money. <coughs> right. Well, five thousand in miscellaneous seems high. But we spent eighty-seven hundred in FY twenty-two and only budgeted three. But we have. We don't know what where that went. Okay, so let's do, maybe we should do like six or 6,500. You know what, let's do nothing. Because we should find out what's, what we need money for that we haven't budgeted. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where did that go? And then line Sand up. Sand and gravel. I think we're good on sand. Well, we've got, we have an excess, yeah, we should be good. We've got an excess of sand and we've got, uh, so we're buffered there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> gravel, like, we definitely want to hold that number. We may we'll even want to, we might want to cover that up. Um, I don't think budget wise we're gonna be able to do that. Okay, then we will. Okay. Is bridges and culverts right? Yeah. Seems yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. Pavement crack and seal. Are we gonna to have to do anything on kind Yeah, we will. Year? We definitely will. We'll do it. Because we did Lightning Ridge last year, right? You already got a number in there. Yeah, yeah seventeen thousand. Yeah, we wanna yeah, any cracks up here, we want any preserved ones. Um, erosion stones of the heavy stone you put in the ditches, right? Yeah, it's it's like uh, the rip wraps. So yeah. Yeah. Well, looks like. Well, it can be anything from inch and a half up, you know, okay. so up to type one, type two. So we want to leave it at four. Yeah, I think so. Road yeah. salt. We put in eight. For some reason, we have some figures in here, so we must have done something. Yeah, that's what we. <coughs> <coughs> so, 18, so the magic salt did not work. 
Now, for all the bragging, what happened? I don't know. I'm not sure that it, uh, they were applying that right or they were. I mean, I knew the one that they were. You know, the magic the treated salts, they definitely work. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not going to. I think that they. I need to dig deeper into that and find out. You know, we already have our salt for the year. So, so should we put anything in there for next year? Uh, like 1500 maybe? Now let's get, you know what, let's leave it, let's leave it for now okay. because we're going to be, well, we're going to have we're to decide need, soon, yeah. it's all right, just let's go with what we've got for right now. We've already got our salt orders in here, so. Uh, okay, so nothing we'll, for magic salt? And we'll make it, once we get our DPW, we'll make decisions around this. I know, but the problem is, are we putting a figure in for magic salt or not? I know what you're saying. Uh, I think we should just put the same number we did last year. A thousand? Okay, a thousand, that's fine. Is that right for Clyde? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Road signs. Yeah, that's that's good. Boy, and after by twenty two we went way over budget. We have been having stop, a lot stop of stealing the signs. We were having huge stuff thefts on this, and I don't know how to fix that. Can I ask a question? Is it because of an aesthetic reason? We have guardrails where the drop off is two feet, three feet to a stream, and I get why. You come down Foster Hill. Like or your road. My road. Or Singleton. Or Singleton. Or Singleton. But yes. you come down Foster Hill, in the drop off to number 10 across from that farmhouse that yep. Peter Bar Bachman rents out. And that was exactly where Just below that. It is scary. It, and I, 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 on slippery days, I'm like, boy, have I well, lost it. That thing, thing I'd be rolling. The, and be according like, to, you know, and if you health. look at Ashton standards, which are the Vermont standards, if it's a one, three, or steeper, you have to have guardrail. Well, that's a cliff. But and it's you always can't been. afford to put guardrail on it, you know, because we have 90% of the state. So I get it. It's a risk. I mean, that's not, uh, I mean, it's I'm just wondering why over the years, it seems like that is probably the most, if the word is treacherous, or the steepest embankment, longest and steepest embankment yeah. you have in town. It's a man. And, and, it's, and it goes unguarded. And then we have, we put guardrails everywhere else. I don't understand it. But maybe it's because there were grants with the other right. projects, and that's why we got the guardrails. Yeah. So there's no grant. So are you so, wanting us to update the amount? No, I'm just oh, with those curiosity. Curious. Line striking seven guardrails. Okay, so we got quite a few of the numbers. And, yeah. And yeah. you had already gone through and said still have truck on. We did that a couple right. of weeks. Yeah, we did that a couple weeks right. ago. Right. So we're doing on that. So we don't need any guys here. What, what we need it? was the the numbers from Wendy on well, I mean the actuals, right? So our actuals are up to date. Maybe for some of these. Yeah. Well, we I didn't. Mean, well, we had no budget in twenty three for any of these. Right. Serious. Right. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. We have a twenty thousand dollars. We have had expenses. That's what we've got to have. We've but, got to have Wendy. The, uh, yeah, but Rick, this is just maintenance. We have forty-one thousand. We have forty-one thousand so far. Oh, maintenance. Yeah, well, yeah, no so kidding. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and look at the year before. We only had twenty thousand in maintenance, and we spent actual so far for FY twenty-three is fifty-five, and we budgeted. Hang on. What are you looking at? I'm looking at line 237. Of oh, the actual, but so go up to line 219. Yeah. Line 219, I just want to make sure that I'm clear about what I was saying and what we're all saying. So in actual FY22, the actual expense was less than 20000 which goes to the point we've been making about a lot of missing and deferred maintenance. Mm -hmm. And now, in a catch-up year, we're getting close to being over budget and we're only halfway through the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, the guys have been doing a lot of that, which has saved us money by not sending it to a shop, but we may find- It's very expensive. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that goes to, okay, so we don't have a budget number in 219, we should have one. So we, in FY22, we budgeted 55, we knocked it down to 45 because we 
all we saw is that it wasn't getting used. Now what we know is it should have been getting used. Right. Maybe we should go back up to 55 or even 60. Well, where are yeah. we at now? So right, budget FY23, we budgeted yes, 20, level 23, we budgeted 45,000. We budgeted 45,000, but then... 45,000, that's fuel and gas. Oil fuel and gas. So yeah, I would say... 50. Quit a minute, or at least, I would I'd say 50. at least 50, 60. 60. Line 219, are you guys 219, that's yeah. what I'm talking 60. about. 60? Yeah. 60,000? Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to, yeah. we got a lot of catching up. That's probably well, and the rough happen. seasons right now, where stuff right. gets busted. And my season. Yeah, and yeah we've had shoes already, so of course they didn't fix it. And then fuel, gas, and oil, that 236 line, that's something different. And we put that one at 70. So now we're at 130 for this whole section. Mm -hmm. Which I think is baked because everything else was actual purchasing costs. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we got the town garage, mm -hmm. which I think we. Can I just ask one more question though? Mm -hmm. On all these vehicles that we still have, the '97 Grader, the '97 John Deere Grader, and the Caterpillar, I assume that these are all paid for, which is why those budget lines are zero. Yeah, we bought them used. Yeah, those yeah. are paid for, so they're not under the equipment purchases. Okay, so this is. A we do have the yeah. We got the two new trucks coming, right? So one of them is being fit up now, so we have to have the cost mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. that loan, and then we've got to have. We're well, also going to have the the one time. So those two <laughs> lines. That's line two thirty three and line two thirty four. We have placeholders so for three pieces of equipment: the twenty twenty three Westar dump ten wheeler, the twenty twenty two Ford F six hundred, and the dust control portable sprayer. So those three lines I'm going to highlight because yeah, those are places that... Dust control sense. portable sprayer, we're going to... Uh, okay. It says looking to right, buy... Right, that was what... Uh, yeah, okay. Do you have a number of... I don't, I don't, so I've got... <laughs> okay, so these are... We're going to check these out. Hang on, though. It, Rick, let's... As a practical matter, um, I think we've had quotes on the West Star and the Ford, but the con dust control portable sprayer and tank that we might buy or build... Can we just come up with a number right now? Yeah, we can. What, uh, I mean, what, what does that kind of thing cost? I would say, you know, we have the option of repairing the one we've got but, or, uh, you know, putting a new pump on it. So, uh, How much I, think? I would say, you know, if, if we put in, oh, $8,000, we're probably good. I mean, I... Okay, there, it's done. Okay. Town, town garage. We did we this already. This. We already did this. I think we should camera the garage. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it. There actually were some Security. misassumptions. Mm -hmm. and we need to get cameras off the build on the building mm -hmm. toward the fuel tanks. C45. And we need to just have you know have the area camera. Um, it's we, cheap enough. I mean, it's not inexpensive, but it's cheap enough. Well, we've budgeted forty-five million. That should be enough, right? Where's the computer we need to add? No, communication security line 246. Oh, we did, you're right. 45. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We oh, put, okay. We and we, had, we put in that a computer for that, for the shop, too, I mm -hmm. think, right? Mm -hmm. That's what. Okay. Yeah. The radios and caging, that's going to be the wild card. Oh, that's going to be more because we need to put, we need to look into getting all new equipment. We want to put a radio in the mower. We want to see about upgrading our. Our truck radios are not, they can't, they can barely communicate with each right, other. Right, it's a safety. They can't across town. And is it a radio issue? Is it just is it, uh, like, well, a topographical like issue? Well, I that's the question it's here. We don't, it's probably <laughs> it's just, both. The question <laughs> is, do we, you know, what we've, I've already talked to uh, Green Mountain Power, I've talked to Washington Electric, and I've talked to East Montpelier. Oh. I want to actually bring everybody together to talk so we can actually talk to each other mm -hmm. and you know because we we had to pull out power company trucks during this last storm and they're having to go through me and i'm having to reach somebody in this so what does a radio cost and how many do we need well this i don't know yet because we we still we're just in the start of this so, but so we have, we have one base system. station we have two base stations we have but one we in the garage and we have one at the clerk right can you research do you have are you yeah i signed no i didn't sign this in Question is whether we go digital or whether we go here. You know, right now everything's analog here, yeah. and then the digital apparently have much better 
much better signal strength. The problem with digital is you either got it or you don't. Or you don't. You're right. With analog, you get it, and it's fuzzy, and Rick's fu coming in fuzzy, and John's hearing fuzzy, but he's still hearing. It's either on or off or with off digital. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a problem. Well, I and it's a problem it because Especially a lot of the people yeah. around us are using analog. That's why we actually want to talk to everybody to kind of come up with a plan to work forward. Right, but the trouble is we need to put a figure in. Okay, let's do this. Because we're not ready for this, let's plan this year. Let's just let's stick a yeah. number in there for yeah. a radio. Yeah, fit. we. I would say we want two to enough for two radios. Let's. I'm gonna. Yeah, he's that should be fine. Because that way we can have one. I mean, I want to make sure that like I've got one or something uh -huh. somewhere where I can or whoever the DPW is so mm -hmm. we can actually talk to the guys if we right. have a call or. If uh, and then we've do we we've got one at the town clerk's office, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, we'll need one for the tractor. So, so we need we need to have four base stations or two three well, base two, stations. Well, two. We got two that. Well, a DPW guy's going to need one. Yeah. Right. Um, clerk's office and the clerk's, clerk's office has three, right? right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're talking about additional. Yeah. So uh, I'm just talking about our portable on the tractor and a base station on for the DPW person. Yeah. Should yeah. Budget for. That's right, and I can take that. And the EPW I'm person is going to need one for their vehicle. And you know, there may be a way to get a grant for some of that. Oh, really? Right? Possibly, but the question is, we we definitely want to put one in that tractor this year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. So, um, um, yeah. I would. Okay, I wrote that in as a swag, five thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, and then the insurance piece. This is a, isn't this a Wendy? Yeah, I just mm. can't see the rest of it. Well, we're not going to get in there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a double check with Wendy question. <coughs> we're just going to have to guess at this grant stuff. I think so. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how. Uh, well, I do. We had fifty-five thousand budgeted in FY twenty-two. We had forty thousand budgeted last year. Um, well, no, wait a minute. We had for grants at, for actual in FY twenty-two. We we're at fifty-five. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, actual. And then we didn't. There's no budget numbers in here for FY twenty-three, but we've spent forty. We received forty. That's a good question. Which is. Which is it? Oh, or is this just money that comes out and then we get reimbursed if we have mm -hmm. our act together? To no, this out. is. Wait. I think this is our what we've paid, isn't it? This is our match. You're saying? I would think. I think it's our those figures in FY twenty two. I think are our. See, I thought we ex we expense and then we get reimbursed. I thought. That was <laughs> yeah, that ours. is true. Wendy sent us all this report. These are expenses, but we, how much is, did we get reimbursed? If anything? Okay, let's see. Sometimes she doesn't send highway. Sometimes she does. Town hall. Uh, mm -hmm. What is this? Thank so we have anticipated revenues at the bottom. That grants three hundred sixteen thousand line three forty five or seven or whatever. It is. Okay. So, so Wendy so sent us this town cal's financial reports November twenty twenty two, and that's how I found out how much figured out how much we had in the town hall fund. Um, where are we at? General Highway Maintenance. What is this thing called? These are the highway grant expenses. A lot of what, a lot of the grants that we receive at highway are we, are matches in kind. Now, see this list here. We have Better Back Roads Grant, Moscow Woods, and Loose Road because these were <coughs> right. from the previous fiscal year. Right. So the loose road is still going on though, right? Because that's the one that right. we've got. We've got to get the easements. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so what I would suggest is that we, we 
put a number in the in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And well, we if the actual in FY twenty two was fifty five. And right now, as of November, what did I say? November of this year, this report when he sent all of us shows that we've spent forty thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars and thirty one cents. Which is what's in here. Right. This one says four forty five. Yeah. Yeah, four forty five thirty one. Right. So but that's only so far. And and so I think the part that's a little unclear is whether this is our match or whether most of it's gonna get reimbursed. And then it's well, this report shows a hundred actual budget. This shows a hundred percent. This report that she sent us is in the other one. Hundred percent of what? Right. When we didn't budget anything. Yeah. It looks like in the past two years we haven't budgeted anything Absolutely. under grants. Yeah. There, there's nothing there for FY22. Right. I don't know. Um, but this is. I think but these are expenses. expenditures that are reimbursed. That's right. Why I, we're not budgeting. Yeah. Right. So and we haven't budgeted in the past two years. So let's just not budget. All right. It's working. We get money. Well, we can't. We can't know what grants are going to be available. And what right. We're right. We don't know what we're, what we're going to be awarded. Right. The, qu uh, we don't know. the question I've got is on this, and is how do we? You know, we probably we've got the uh, Moscow Woods repair project. But we've got to keep going. And right. And that, and the estimate on that could be is you know one hundred ten thousand. We've got an eighty thousand dollar grant. So we would probably want to have. Additional capital in there. To so that there's not match. That's not in that's, line. It's actual no, that's dollar the grant. That's the grant amount. No, so no, we no. Have have, well, we have the to grant A. Right. And total total cost. Money, right. Yeah, but so is there in kind availability for match? Well, that, but your I think the cost of the actual replacement isn't going to be covered. Oh. By it's going to be over a hundred. Oh, I, I think see. It's going to be one hundred ten. And we're hiring out a lot. We wouldn't be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's got to be, yeah. Are you saying we should budget a hundred? We should. We no, 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 more, but probably thirty or so. I would think to be safe. So because this is going to be so a new line. You mean um, you think we're not going to get all the money we need through these the grant? We haven't got enough. Bridge. We've only got an eighty thousand dollar grant to pay. So we yeah, the cost thousand. of that replacement. You know, I mean, not replacement, but that cost of that repair is going to be potentially. But won't we have, is that a two year fiscal year project? No. Or no. It's just something. And it this is only the temporary fix. It would be the temporary fix. Then we got to do that. Right. Main fix. Right. Well, temporary for 10 years. Right. Hmm. Or no, no, years. we maybe have three, four. No. We got to, that's, yeah. That's a All right, I put in thirty thousand for East Talos Bridge repair. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, and then cap. Now we have another capital expenses, which put in temporary repair on that. Okay, because this is not definitely e not. Yep. Good idea. Good idea. Now we have another capital expenses. So. Just want to say, we did a temporary fix on the bridge on Peak and Brook Road when Cy was here. Yeah, that was like it's still there. I know. We still haven't there. replaced How the bridge. It yeah. It's still there. Yeah. It's still that was a temporary fix. That was 15 years ago. Yeah. So this one, put that up. This is a little so different. So what is this the is difference? What? So the nervous. Moscow paving grant is yeah. different than the East Cal's bridge repair. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's that's probably for the eight, the. Uh, yeah. I think we're all going to get fading fast, and we still have to talk about salary. At least, um, or at least be in the discussion. We got the numbers from Barbara, which came in like a word form or a PDF. Um, so I can go through. A, that's an easy task. I can go through and enter those for, for all the people, all all the uh, the social services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So do we want to? Now we have um, capital expenses. So. So we have some, some vehicles that, are, is this a redundant list to the one above? <coughs> mm -hmm. 
well, the one above is expenses related to equipment repairs on those vehicles. And maintenance, and now this is, this is like, how much is it going to cost to buy the truck? So this, those three lines that we had highlighted above really should belong down here. Well, wait a minute. Do you mean with, yeah, the new trucks? The new truck. These Probably. are loan payment amounts. Yeah, these are loans. That's the Yeah, button. that's right. That's where they, they do belong down They belong down here. You just cut and yep. paste them. Yep, if you guys want to hang on, I'll do that. So, um, I'm going to leave the dust control portable sprayer up above, Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That, that can be... Because that isn't necessarily a replacement. We may just fix. We may not have the option. We may not have the money. Ah, oh, right. To buy it, we might have to fix it. Right. Okay, so where are we at? Hang on, Rick. The bottom line, I'm like, it needs a drum roll. If you just copy the two whole line, each line, both of them, and then insert. I that's what I did, but then I err. Um, I just do it again. I thought that I, I, I hate working in Excel and it isn't downloaded if it's if we're working in Google Docs. I know. <clears throat> it's harder and yet it's nice because we're You can see it. Yeah, it's just a pain. It's, you know what's hard is getting two lines together, which is what I was trying to do. <coughs> Never mind, I'm just going to do them separate one by one, one yeah. at a time. So we don't get confused. Okay. Um, so you're going to work on the social services. I'll put those in. That's just data entry from what Barbara gave us. Um, I didn't bring this with me. Um, I don't, we don't have a lot, we don't have a lot of numbers in the, right. I mean, we want to double check that the forms are all working properly. Um, okay, so this is a Google folder. I just want to stretch. Um, that's all I'm like, no, I, I did something to my back This thing's like earlier, so. a place school she was on the chair. I'm happy no matter what. Um, so, I think that we should, we have to go into a bigger session to talk about personnel increases or budgeting. And then we have to talk about when we're going to oh, meet again. Meet again. Well, let's talk about that now so that it's on the record. That's what I'm thinking. So can we just continue this meeting to Thursday evening? Yeah. Um, what's the date? Thursday. Today is the second. To the fifth, right? Yep. One, five. Um, at what time do we want to meet? Is Thursday better than Wednesday for people? I'd rather do Thursday. Instead of having three both. nights in a row. I can do either or both. Um, okay, so Thursday. I wonder. But we're going to have... Because third, by doing it by Thursday night, it'll give me a longer period of time to try to catch up with Wendy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's what time you think, T? Can we six. do it at 6? Six? 6, yeah. 6, or do you want to do earlier? I'm, uh, I have a client until 5. Let's okay, so you want to do 6? Mm -hmm. But let's make sure we do it at 6. Everybody got 6? Yep. Yeah. And we don't need to do an agenda because it's continued. Bye, Ray. Thank Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Happy New Okay, so we're going to continue. Yep. 
And that's the fifth. And I'll make sure that the, um, it's available on the calendar. If it's not, we'll have to meet at the town office. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. At s and then we'll have to... And we're going to have to meet again on the 9th. Uh, which is our regular meeting. 9th is a regular meeting, but... I think we should assume that all we're doing is finalizing all this stuff. No, we said we'd do the Curtis Pond Dam permit stuff on the 9th. Okay. That's so fine. I think if we do that and then... Is that a big discussion? I, I don't think so. I put all of the stuff in the Google folder. Yep. Um, so I think, I think we might be able to do it as consent. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we want a motion to go into executive session to discuss um, personnel issues under personnel budgeting. Personnel budgeting, which relates to the performance of pers personnel. It is under the <coughs> appointment or employment. Mm -hmm. Three one three a three. That's the motion. It is. Second. Any discussion? What, what time is it? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Aye.